<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Kadash. The honor to the elder apostles, great millstone, and salutation and much love to Yahweh out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. All right, it's the brother Ash from uh, GMS Tampa uh, branch, and um, I just want to do a quick, you know, video, Lord's will, is edifying. Unto the uh, hopeful elect out there, and to whomsoever may come across this video, all right? If you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, or if your spirit resonates with this truth, then you may very well be uh, an Israelite, all right? According to the biblical scriptures. All right, so, so whoever this video is for, you better take heed, all right? Because there's some bad times coming to this, to this uh, earth, especially here in America. All right, evil times. Evil meaning ill. You know, times. Bad times are coming. Okay, but nonetheless, let's just go ahead and jump straight into the scriptures. All right. Um, this is the start at uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 1. This is 2 Ezra 9 and 1 in the Apocrypha. All right, and it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, so us being Israelites, all right, Hebrew Israelites, we are to be watching, all right, because the Lord gave us the, the signs of the times and the times at hand, all right? He gave us these warning signs, these indications that he would, that he, uh, he would get, uh, start to show in the last days before you know the ultimate judgment comes all right and we're living in those times you take a look around the world it's chaos it's nothing but confusion here in america right you got transgender people you don't know if a man's a man or if a woman's actually a woman you got wars and rumors of wars okay you got a lot of things going on but nobody seems to care nobody really seems to care at this point in time but what that's good that's good that's a good sign though because that gives us a better chance of salvation, you know. As the scriptures say, this world be for many, but the, but the world to come is for few. Because not everybody is, 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 is giving up their lives for the Lord, all right? Nope, not everybody's sacrificing and forsaking what they were, you know, what they were doing in, 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 their, in the past, you know what I'm saying? Before you came into this truth, before you found the gospel, the good news, which the gospel is, is, is that salvation is, is for the Jew or, or the Israelite. All right, the Israelites, whether you look like a Chinese man, whether you look like a so-called white man, it doesn't matter what you look like. It's about what your spirit is. All right. What spirit resides in you. All right. As Romans 8 says, the spirit beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. The children of the most high are the Israelites. All right. So that's who we out here looking for. That's who we out here looking uh, to wake up. And more, and more specifically, the elect. All right. The 144,000 men. That are going to be awoken to this truth and that are going to are, do the will of the Heavenly Father. And then through them, the one third of the nation of Israel shall receive salvation. All right, but how are we to, to, to are us being prophets of the Lord, what are we to do? We are, we are to watch and measure the time diligently. Because the times are getting worse and worse. And that's how we know that, that we're getting closer to the return of our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Alright, so let me uh, read verse 3. Therefore, when there... Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upward uproars of the people in the world, and there's earthquakes everywhere, all kind of major earthquakes taking place daily. All right, it just goes uncovered. Okay, the media, the mainstream media is not showing you how many earthquakes there are every day. It, it's not showing you all the uproars on on CNN and, and Fox and and Bay News Nine or you know ABC Action News. They're not showing you all the uproars that are taking place around the world. All right, Paris over there in France, they got it there in those yellow, uh, the yellow vest protesters. Man, that shit is spreading like a wildfire over there. All right, and ultimately it's, it's gonna come here. All right, when 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 the uproars, all right, the civil unrest, the race riots, the martial law takes place here in America. What are you gonna do then? All right, what are you gonna do then? Because then it's going to be too late to seek the Lord. That's why Isaiah 55 and 6 say, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Because it's going to come a time when the Lord ain't going to be out here 
through his prophets, all right? The prophets ain't going to be standing on the corners while people are getting shot down in the streets, while martial law is coming down the street, all right, with a, with a, with a tank and some Humvees, man, all right? And the prophets of the Lord ain't going to be out there when there's race riots, all right? When people are looting and burning buildings and cars down, all right? The prophets ain't going to be out there no more, man. It's not going to be as easy as, as one, two, three, all right? But so now is the time. Now is the time to get it ready, all right? Verse 4, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even the beginning, all right? So the Lord told us what was going to happen. The Lord told us that these things would that would uh, occur. Now let's read some of the things that are coming, mainly here to America, all right? Because uh, America is the modern day Egypt, all right? America is the modern day Babylon, mystery Babylon, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. All right, so this is Isaiah 19, and uh, I'll start at 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. All right, so talking about civil unrest. All right, a new a new civil war is at hand. And Lord's will, I put the video at the end, a little clip I found, which inspired this, this lesson. All right, civil unrest is coming to America. And it's not just going to be the North versus the South. It's going to be... Everybody for themselves, all right? In the midst of that, it's going to be race riots. So if, if, a, if a coon hunter, all right, one of them, 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 them Edomites, them red Hebrew Edomites catch you outside, they're going to kill you, man. They're going to lynch you up. They're going to they gonna, they gonna castrate you. You know, these devils, they're, they're, they're true na the true nature of the so-called white man is coming out. And especially when it's a lawless society and martial law has been declared, all right, curfews, um... All out chaos in the streets. Damn, they're going to start hanging niggas again, man. You you spicks too, man. You tontos. Y'all don't think that the, the so-called white man is your buddy, man. He's your enemy. All right? He's going to treat you just like he treats the niggas. All right? But what? It's, it, it, even Esau among himself is going to be division. That's why Yahweh Shai said a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. All right? But let's keep reading. It says, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Civil unrest. Civil war. All right. Just like it happened before. You had civil war in 18, what, 1870, 1860, something like that. Around that time frame. And guess what? You had Jake's fighting on both sides. And you had Edomites fighting on both sides. All right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen again. Look what's going on in the news. What are they pushing? Division through the, the, the left and the right. The, the, the Democrats and the Republicans. Or how in the ancient days, in ancient Rome, they call them the plebeians and the, um, what is it, the plebeians and the Etrus Etruscans, something like that. Plebeians and something like that. Let me, let me, see, let me look that up real quick. I don't want to get that wrong. Plebeians and the partitions, all right? The plebeians and the partitions, all right? That's the, that's the... All right, the Roman or the, the the Republicans and Democrats is is the modern day plebeians and the partitions. All right, and just like they were divided back in ancient Rome, and the same thing is going on today. Bread is circus act. All right, distracting the minds of the people. Meanwhile, they they're over there doing they're over there uh, over there doing uh, martial law training. All right, suburban tactics, suburban warfare tactics. In the L downtown Los Angeles, and then in uh, Long Beach, California, you know they're over there gearing up, getting ready. Meanwhile, people are getting ready for Valentine's Day. Okay, what else? What you, what else you got? The basketball. Now the Super Bowl on pass. Now people are gonna be worried about basketball. What else? Uh, here here in here in Tampa, a lot of these people like the hockey shit. All right, the soccer, the baseball, whatever. It was all a bunch of garbage, man. Just bread and circus, man. Keep you distracted from the perils that are coming. And that's why Esau's over here preparing, right? The military ain't playing games, man. And even the, you, you, your everyday Edomite, that's why they're stocking up guns and bullets. So when there's a lawless society and, and a civil unrest, they can go shoot some niggas, man. That's what they can't wait for. And you know what we can't wait for? Till the Lord returns and puts all these heathens in subjection, all right? But this is going to happen before. All right, all this is all this unrest, uh, uproars is going to happen before the Lord returns. All right, it says, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, 
city against city and kingdom against kingdom. That's that's that civil unrest that's coming to America. All right, race rights. All right, your next door neighbor Bob. All right, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna lend you no no cup of sugar in that day, man. He coming for your throat. Right when he when he drank his last water bottle and, and ate his last slice of bread. All right, all that friendly neighbor shit is going out the window. There's gonna be death and destruction on these streets. Verse 3, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, and to the, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. So, the Lord is going to destroy the counsel thereof of Egypt, man. Ain't nobody going to have the answers, all right? The government's not going to have the answers, all right? Your, 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 um, your, your pastors, all right? Your, these churches, they're not going to have the answers. But what? People are going to seek. Those idols, they're going to go to sweet, you know, the, the Latinos, they're going to go to Guadalupe, or the Virgin Mary, okay, and begging her for answers and, and asking her, uh, the idol, the dumb idol that can neither hear nor speak. They're going to ask him to, to help him and save him. It's going to be, hey, pfft, boo hoo. You know, that's all I can say, boo hoo. All right. They're gonna, people are going to be seeking answers everywhere. But really, they had the answers in front of them the whole time. They just refused to hearken, man. They walked right past the prophets of the Lord, clicked on a video, you know, put gave a thumbs down, talked some shit on the comment board, and kept it moving. Well, now, guess what? The Lord going to do the same to you. You rejected him, so he's going to reject you. All right? It's speaking to the Israelites, man, because you, you you heathens have no nothing to do with this, man. You're just going to have to roll through the storm and then, uh, and then wake up in the kingdom of heaven as a slave. All right? So let's go to Matthew now. New Testament, Matthew 24 and 12. It says, <clears throat> let's see. In Matthew 24 and 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right, so the love of many is going to wax cold, man. Because what? Iniquity is going to abound. Because it's going to be every man for himself. When, they, when this shit really gets popping. And it's civil unrest. You know, they, they still might. It's not going to be everywhere you go, you know. There's still going to be people working and, you know, certain cities are still going to be good. But for, wherever Jake is, the poor the poor cities, you know, whatnot, the, the hoods, the ghettos, the barrios, that's where the that's where the biggest chaos is going to be. And guess what? Jake has integrated amongst you, you, you Edomites, man. So he, wherever they are, that's where the shit's going to be going down, man. And then you got these 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 protesters, you know, Edomite protesters that protest against the government, just like they did in in, in, <clears throat> in the old Civil War of eighteen in the eighteen hundreds. You know, it was the South fighting against the government. Man, they didn't want to deal with, they didn't want to give up them slaves. So what are they gonna do now? They're gonna they're gonna fight for their rights again, man. They, you know, them them we got I got rights that kind of Edomite. You know, the gun toting. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bill, Billy. Um, uh, you know the 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 news unit kind of hill Billy. You know, the Duck Dynasty kind of devil. You know, those are the ones that are gonna be covering up against the government. So it's gonna be you know the left versus the right. Yeah, that's why Trump is set up to cause division in this country, and it's working beautifully. So it's not only gonna be Jake but bugging the hell out, right? Ro looting and and rioting. It's gonna be you everyday Edomites too. Because it's gonna affect you. Cause you on a, now you on the same level. All right, you low level Edomites, you two third Edomites. You're on the same level as Jake now. All right, and some Jake doing better than you. So you you know when when Jake gets affected through this uh, uh you know the 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 economy getting uh, um you know messed up whatever because of this you know uproars and, and the civil unrest. Okay, then you you Edomites are gonna be affected too, just like some a lot a, a, uh, not I, I wouldn't say it, the majority of them, but there was a good amount of Edomites that got affected by this government shutdown. All right, when the food stamps is go, gone, all right, you Edomites are gonna get affected. All right, you bum Edomites, you red Hebrew Edomites, and it's gonna be all out chaos, man. You are gonna see. And then, and then in the midst of that, while people are rioting, they're gonna be. It's gonna be a race riot too. So it ain't gonna be safe on on any level, man. People are gonna be fighting against the government and then fighting against each other. Right? There's gonna be straight chaos out here, man. Let's go to Second Ezra. All right, ain't nobody's gonna give you a, a a a friendly lending hand in that day. All right, nobody's gonna come to your rescue. Let's see here. 
All right, the second Ezra is 15 and 15. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right, so there's going to be sedition, man. All right. Chaos. War. All right. And what happens in war? People die. Okay. There's casualties. Innocence. Innocent kid will be be killed, as they say. You know, and it ain't no such thing as innocent. Nobody is innocent. Whoever perish being innocent, as the scriptures say. But, you know, there's going to be women getting raped to death. Right. It ain't going to be no 911 to call. All right. And if you do call them, it's going to take them three hours to get there. Because they're fending for their lives too, you know. They might have three people on, on staff that day, you know. And the martial law troops going to come and, and just clean up and shoot everybody in sight, okay. Because the government ain't going to have no pity on you people in that day either, man. They're just going to start laying you fools down, man. Busting them hollow tips in you. Now, there's a reason Homeland Security bought all the millions or billions of, of hollow point tips, man. Hey, it, it's not to use on the on the ISIS, okay? It's to use on you on you you Americans, man. All right. There's a reason they're doing suburban ta uh, warfare tactics, practicing. It's not to go into Syria, all right. It's it's the, the roll on you damn morons. Verse 16, Second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their power. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. There you go, man. Straight, straight sedition, man. Chaos. Nobody's gonna care about what the kings and the princes. Nobody care. Nobody in that day when all hell is, is, is all hell is broken loose. Nobody's gonna care about what Donald Trump got to say. Nobody's caring about what the governor of, of the state of Florida or the governor of California has to say, right? Nobody's gonna care, man, because they're trying to uh, uh, survive. They're gonna go into that survival mode. And if you got to kill somebody, you know, they're going to do it, man. And you, they got all these post-apocalyptic, you know, movies and, uh, you know, end-time movies or whatever, where, where, where society just collapses and it's every man for himself. And man, they're showing you what's going to happen, man. People are going to be killing each other, or choking each other out, find, shooting the hell out of each other, stabbing each other. All right, you name it, it's going to happen, man. All this chaos. All right, verse 17, a man shall go, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because when the martial law is, is established, all right, a national state of emergency, they're going to have to close the main roads down, just like they showed in that movie, um, How It Ends on Netflix. This is how it ends, something along those lines with, with Forrest Whitaker, all right, they had the, all the main highways shut down, the military was there, posted with, with, with heavy artillery, all right, they had, they had dispatched the the, the the military jets, you know, the F thirty fives, they're gonna have the city's quarantine, man. All right, they don't want no the the you know, especially where there's gonna be looting and rioting, they're gonna want to quarantine that quick. All right, so you're not gonna be able to leave the town. You're gonna be stuck in there. All right, you know, they're gonna border them shits up. Especially if you're on 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 a uh, like if you're uh, on a peninsula, like Florida is. And there's only one way out, you're fucked. Alright? Verse 18, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. <clears throat> there you go, see? Houses are going to be ravished. Or people are going to be busting in through your doors, burning your houses down. And people are going to be afraid. Men, grown men are going to be afraid to come outside. Because they know it's a possibility they ain't not coming back. They might not make it ten steps out the door. And that's what's coming to the streets of America. Death and destruction around every corner. All right. And when you and imagine you, you so-called white people come out to go try to get some food or some water. And you got a, a horde of angry niggas coming at you, man. A bunch of uh, crips and bloods. You know, now now they can do whatever they want. <laughs> now they can just bang on you, you know, bang on you Edomites, man. Because Jake, Jake is looking at you damn devil sideways at, right about now, man. They sick and tired. You don't know. I'm talking about the two thirds, man. They they sick and tired of, of taking shit from you devils, man. So when they get a chance, they gonna bust bust the cap in your ass. All right. And the scriptures say to be spirits created for vengeance. Well, a lot of these two third niggas are gonna lose their shit. A lot, a lot of these niggas in prison, you know, Debo and, and and you know Tyrone do nothing but but push ups and pull ups all day long. 
when then when 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 society collapses and they're released, all right, that they, they could bust out the prisons. They're gonna come. They're gonna come for your head, man. They're gonna rape you, people. All right, they put you to death. You ain't not gonna be able to do a damn thing about it. Big two two hundred and eighty pound, big ass cock diesel nigga, beating the brakes off of you, man. Holding you down like a little bitch. <laughs> you know. So like it for the language, but that's what's gonna take place, man. You're gonna be screaming all kind of profanities in that day. Here it is, all these little Christians, pseudo Christians, talking about the why you cussing. You're gonna be the number one person cussing in that day when all hell is brought upon you. All right, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Nobody's gonna care how you feel if you're crying. A woman, a badass chick, you know, she over there in the corner in the fetal position crying. Nobody's gonna care about that in tears, man. Nobody's gonna care about your tears, man, or how you feel that day. All right, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, so it's gonna be a lot of a lot of killing, a lot of raping, right? Put it bluntly, because it's gonna be a lack of bread. All right, when the when the when the when the shit hits the fan and there's no more truck drivers, all right, the stores only got three days food, all right, stocked up. Now them, that three days of food is going to be gone within the first day, within hours, all right? Look what happens when they, they, they say there's a, a hurricane coming or some shit. Man, them shelves get cleaned that day. No water, no bread. They, the only thing that's left is fucking, you know, you know, little toy cars and shit. Hey, but it, this is going to be a, a horrible times. I'm telling you. This is a warning. This is the Lord giving you warning right now. All right, Isaiah, let's go to Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13 and 11. <clears throat> and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay the low and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. All right. So the Lord is coming to judge you proud. You proud ass devils, man. You proud ass Americans, including you two third Jakes, man. Everything is a game until the shit hits the fan. All right, proud as hell, proud to be an American, proud to be a homosexual, proud to do all this wickedness. And then you walk around with these haughty ass looks. All of that's going to cease in that day, man. All right, let's see all these these independent women and these tough guys. What they going to do when the shit hits the fan, man? If you ain't got your hot streaming outside with you, you, you're screwed, man. Yep. And death and destruction is coming. So remember, civil unrest, martial law, and race riots is coming to America. Shalom. On the 12th of August 2017, Heather Heyer attended a protest against the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. By the end of the day, she would be dead. The victim of a car deliberately driven into a crowd of liberal demonstrators by a self-confessed Nazi. President Trump blamed both sides for the violence in Charlottesville, and a year later, liberal and conservative pundits appear to be drawing lines in the sand, echoing rhetoric last seen in 1865. But are the policies of the president really that divisive? Is Trump's America heading for a second civil war? According to a June 2018 Rasmussen poll, approximately 31% of voters believe a second civil war is likely to occur in the next five years. This is reflective of the deep divisions within American society along lines of class, wealth and race. A 2017 Harvard study found that 57% of Americans viewed the civil rights movement Black Lives Matter unfavorably. Trump's declaration that journalists are the enemy of the people has contributed to increased distrust of the media, to the extent that according to a June 2018 Gallup poll, 44% of Americans believe the news they see is inaccurate. A barometer of this clear division down the middle of America is the election of Donald Trump in 2016. An aggregate of all his approval polls suggests 52.5% of the electorate disapprove of his performance. Alt-right leader Richard Spencer has credited Trump with his movement's revival in several states across America. The number of right-wing militias like the Three Percenters grew by a third between 2015 and 2016.
Journalist Sarah Leonard suggests liberals have responded by radicalizing too. Certainly, Antifa members have advocated violence against Republican and alt-right targets, and the New York City Antifa group's Twitter following quadrupled in January 2017. In an environment where there is no moderate standing, another event like Charlottesville could lead to disaster. On the 2nd of April 2018, Sean Hannity announced on his daily radio show, I'm going to tell you something. This country is headed towards a civil war in terms of two sides that are just hating each other. And if Robert Mueller is so pompous and so arrogant, he's going to ignite a battle that we've not seen in this country before. According to Keith Mines, a State Department specialist in civil conflict, the chance of the US descending into war in the next 10 years is 60%. Mines cites entrenched national polarization, a divisive press, and weak public institutions as contributing factors to a potential war. More pointedly, Mines says the willingness of both sides to resort to violence to solve issues could lead to war. As well as the deplorable car attack in Charlottesville, there was an equally horrifying shooting of Republican lawmakers 100 miles away in Alexandria in June 2017. Political statements are no longer made with words, but with violence. This strongly echoes the disintegration of political parties and the ideological violence seen in Kansas in the 1850s, when ordinary people decided to take action independent of the authorities. The events of bleeding Kansas were severe enough to make a compromise between pro- and anti-slavery elements next to impossible, and led almost directly to civil war. Today, remarks from conservative and liberal pundits on the Mueller investigation into Russian interference in the US election of 2016 generate similar fervor. During the 1850s, the US had weakened institutions as it does now, and strong, deep-seated opinions on both sides, as Americans do now. However, the difference, according to historian David Blight, is that the central issue of slavery tore the two political parties apart, as loyalty to state trumped loyalty to party and country. The same cannot be said of today. Following Trump's refusal to outright condemn the radical right in Charlottesville and his willingness to follow Putin's lead in Helsinki, politicians on both sides of the aisle condemned him. This is in addition to strong national forces, such as an integrated modern military and economy that is fully under the control of Washington, D.C. It is hard to see how America's armed forces would not swiftly put down any civil uprising or how they might become sufficiently divided to wage war on themselves. One of the contributing factors to the sudden growth of the Confederacy in the 19th century was that the standing US Army numbered only 16,000, and they were spread out on the frontier. Individual secessionist states, however, could call on large local militias. Today, the National Guard is integrated into the regulars, leaving no individual state with the ability to call on a large standing force. And the differences between Trump supporters and liberals are not insurmountable. Glenn Harlan Reynolds from the University of Tennessee suggests, once people break out of their political media echo chamber, they quickly come together. Judith Giesberg, editor of the Journal of the Civil War Era, believes instead of a civil war, the United States is entering a cultural war, with more in common with the nationwide but very focused violence seen during the 1960s, rather than the 1860s. With the benefit of hindsight, it's easy to overlay a map of red states on the map of the Confederacy and suggest nothing has changed. However, the unique environment that led to the American Civil War, a world of slavery and muskets, doesn't exist today. Deep chasms have always marked public opinion, stretching back to the very founding of America itself. Yet often common ground and common sense have been found. These are uncertain times, and if war does break out, the odds are the Union will survive just as it always has. The question is, whether the outcome is worth the price of the generation that would be lost fighting for it.